Okay, we are at IWA 2017, and I've actually done a separate video of all the other interesting things that you can see um, at this ginormous show, but I think this one deserves a little bit more time. So we're not gonna spend just a minute on this. We're gonna go through all the features. Um, this is the new FX Crown. I like it in this color. Um, you may have seen other videos of the same gun in different colors. I like this one. I was a huge fan of the Royale. I love the, the look and feel of the Royale, but I love the functionality of the impact. Um, this one kind of com combines the traditional look of the Royale, the ergonomics of the Royale, and the, er the adjustability of the impact. And that's what I want. I'm a fiddler. I love to play around with um, different settings and, and um, experiment and get the best accuracy out of my gun. And you couldn't really do that with the Royale. Um, the impact, you could. So on this gun, you get the multiple power adjustments. You get the hammer spring adjustment over here. You get the... Uh, transfer port adjustment and you get the two pressure, ga pressure gauges and the regulator that's adjustable from the outside. The reason this is so important is because say for example I want to get a 22 caliber air gun and I buy it standard uh, set at a reg pressure of maybe 110 bar or 120 bar and it shoots really well with 18 grain JSB. So now I want to change a pellet, shoot a heavier pellet. I might want to turn the reg pressure up. I might want to play around with the settings. I couldn't do that with the Real, but I can do it with this gun. So that's the first thing I'm really excited about. Um, other features include a full length shroud, um, the Real, as you can see back here, the Real didn't have the full length shroud. So uh, this one is going to be a little bit more quiet, not because it's got more length, but because it's got more volume inside the, the shroud. And that means that air can be diverted back down the shroud instead of being pushed out the muzzle end, um, which is also possibly quite good for, um, for pellet as it exits the barrel because it, it draws air away from the, the back of the pellet skirt. Um, other features, we've got a, a little Arrow 15 style safety over here like we had on the impact, a new optional match trigger. So if you want to use this for competition shooting, you can get a much lighter trigger for it and 18 shot magazine again similar to the impact the royale had a lot less i think maybe 11 or 12 shots this one's got 18. Um, that's pretty much it in terms of features except the most important thing in my opinion is that this rifle is going to come standard with the new smooth twist x barrel um, from fx and this is a real game changer i'm not going to say it's better than the smooth twist because the smooth twist was great but this one's a little bit more customizable in that the smooth twist barrel was limited uh, to the, the twist rates you could put through it. Um, because it was only at the end of the barrel, uh, the pellet generally didn't grip all the time properly on the rifling. And because of that, it stabilized JSB pellets perfectly well, but you couldn't stabilize really heavy pellets. You couldn't stabilize a variety of pellets you might want to shoot. Um, this one gives you the option of um, fitting uh, any twist rate you want and um, they're going to play around with the, the, the depth of the, the lands and grooves you're going to play around with the choke um, and essentially you'll be able to buy a different liner depending on what pellet you want to shoot and then obviously adjust the gun according to that you can get really get the best out of your gun let me actually show you the the barrel system quickly so this is the smooth twist x barrel system and uh, this one's in the shroud so let's take it out Looks like a normal smooth twist barrel, but what makes this one different is that you can actually replace the inside part of the barrel. So you bar the, the barrel sleeve like this, and you can switch out the liners inside. So this one will have a certain twist rate specific for a certain pellet, and you can take different barrel, different twist rate, set up for a different pellet, and slide it straight in, and that's your replacement you can actually switch calibers as well if you want. You can purchase a different pellet probe, like you see here, for different calibers. You can purchase a different caliber or different length barrel and you can switch it out in seconds. So, as I said, the adjustability of the impact. Now, let me interrupt you quickly just to tell you why this new barrel system and the adjustable power is so important to me. I'm a long range shooter, which means that it's very important for me to be able to shoot pellets with higher ballistic coefficients. Um, let's be honest, the, the Diablo shaped uh, pellet design isn't really good in, t in the um, ballistic coefficient or aerodynamics department. They're very accurate, yes, but they can get blown around by the wind a lot because of their bad BCs. Um, 
what I've been able to do is I've been able to bring home a prototype uh, smooth twist X barrel in 22 caliber that is longer than normal this is a 600 millimeter 22 caliber barrel I think a normal smooth twist 22 caliber barrel is uh, 500 millimeters so it's an extra 10 centimeters longer I've got the the transfer port transfer port drilled a little bit wider so the transfer port is letting through a little bit more air and I've basically maxed out the power um, on the impact to where you know this in, inside the safe parameters of, of the power the power adjustments and I've got the new JSB 25.4 grain pellets and that JSB announced quite recently it's a new shape that's very very stable I've got those pellets shooting at almost 50 foot pounds got them shooting at 47 foot pounds and that pellet has a BC of uh, 0.04 which is extremely high and that's competing with the the heavy 25 caliber pellets and the 30 caliber pellets which means that technically I could use this gun for the extreme bench rest competition and and pretty much compete with the 25 and 30 calibers and that would be a first so that is why I'm excited about the new barrel system and about the adjustability on the crown and you're gonna see a lot of this gun in the future and I know a lot of you are gonna ask uh, about price I'm happy to say that this will come in at a at a cheaper price than the, the impact. I think it's gonna retail for about $1,600 more or less for the walnut stock version. Uh, the laminate stock version will probably be a little bit more, the synthetic stock probably a little bit less, but that's a significant decrease in price from the impact. So those of you who are who were thinking of getting the impact but was a little bit out of your price range, this might be a really good option for you. And that's it on the crown. Um, I'm definitely gonna be doing a, a full review of this later. I really can't wait to, can't to get my hands on it, my and I'll see you then. Don't thanks don't for watching. And thanks, for my, thanks to my cameraman, Ted. <laughs> you, wanted, you wanted me and Ted to do a video together. You, you got your wish, sort of. <laughs>